Well, the mastermind behind a company that marketed pot-infused snacks to minors pleaded guilty to related charges in Fulton County. Now, the charges stem from what investigators found inside a Fairburn home during their probe of a company called Trill Treats. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis is here with some new developments and what was a hidden camera investigation. Right, Sonia and Rush, yeah. We first met a Dye Simmons last fall when he sold us $100 worth of what a lab later said was a box of marijuana lace brownies. Simmons actually told our producer he had people in high school selling his product for him. So the remaining question, what should be his punishment? Guilty. 20 year old Adai A. Simmons chose not to fight charges. He ran a drug operation from his family home in Fairburn. The evidence was clearly stacked against him. An Instagram page he ran called Trill Treats, advertising marijuana lace snacks that he said he made himself. Then there are those two undercover police buys, just like the one made by the Fox 5 I team. Do a lot of people buy from you? Like high schoolers too? Yeah, I started in high school doing this. So then when I graduated, she knew about it and I kept people selling for me. If the issue wasn't drugs, you might be impressed with Simmons' business smarts. Investigators say they found detailed ledgers in his bedroom listing who was selling for him, in what schools, how many edibles he should be able to get out of a certain amount of marijuana, even a map showing the best delivery routes. Fulton County Detective Marty McHugh described what appeared to be a company organizational chart. On the left hand side we have people who are sellers, sellers who drive, bakers, managers, delivery drivers, and accountants. Investigators say the ledgers show Simmons clearing $5,000 profit each month from his Trill Treats business. The same records they say prove his target audience was Metro High School and college kids. These three Fulton County moms That's told us last year how a 16 year old customer at a party had to be hospitalized after secretly eating some of Simmons product. So these pot brownies were delivered straight to the hotel, yes. straight to the hotel, straight to the hotel. My reaction was I cannot believe this, that somebody has gotten sick like this and could possibly die on my watch. Police seized baking materials throughout Simmons home. Containers they testified were coated with marijuana found in the kitchen the garage and dining room. The Fulton County DA's office tells Fox 5 it has not decided whether anyone else in the home will face charges. Prosecutors asked the court to sentence Simmons to 20 years, 10 to serve in prison. So many children's lives are affected by this illegal activity by the defendant. But defense attorney Tawana Morgan asked for straight probation, pointing out Simmons has never been in trouble before, not even in high school. He's just like the school club he once joined, a future business leader of America. He's not out here just unconcerned with the effects of his actions and out here trying to be some type of street thug, if you will. Instead, he's actually following a path that society is indicating to be the next booming industry. So Judge Melanie Lefford decided not to sentence Simmons today. She will announce her decision tomorrow. Regardless, Simmons still faces felony charges in Douglas County, where we watched him make a delivery to an undercover officer. So the judges got to be a judge. Got to decide what to do now. Yeah, it's not going to be an easy call for her, I'm sure. This is a young man clearly has a lot of potential. Yeah, and his attorney kept saying, well, come on, he's a kid. He's not even 21 years old. But keep in mind, if, if that's the standard, all of his customers are kids, too. Yeah. And the judge has to weigh that. As yeah, well. most definitely. Right. right. There are states where edible marijuana is legal, but not for high school kids. No, you got to be at least 21. Yeah. All right. Randy, thanks. Thanks, Randy.